Hello YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. We're getting very close to doing our kitchen makeover and so far you guys have seen me thrift as well as DIY some pieces for this space. And a lot of you guys requested to come along as I shop for each one of my spaces. So today I'm taking you guys along with me as we shop for home decor pieces. And I also do have a giveaway in this video so make sure you stay tuned till the end for all the details. So we're gonna jump right into it. The first place that I went to was Plant Shop Evanston. This is a sister store to Plant Shop Chicago, which also carries a really great selection of plants. You can tell that they really take good care of their plants and they also have a lot of rare plants, which is really exciting for me because I only ever see them on Instagram or YouTube. So seeing some in real life is seriously just so amazing. Okay, I for sure need a string of hearts. These are so beautiful and they are really fast growers. I for sure need a pilea. These are 10 bucks and these are just the cutest, most happy plants. I'm trying to find a really good one. Maybe this one will do. Oh my god, I cannot believe they have one of these. This is an Ethereum crystallinum. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's just so beautiful with all the veining. This one has two leaves on it and the price. A little high, a little high guys, but super rare plant and it's so, so beautiful. But personally for the kitchen, I was mostly looking for trailing plants and I was also on the hunt for plants that would do really great in low light and are super easy to take care of. I grabbed two plants from there and you guys saw one already that I was pointing out, which is a string of hearts. And I honestly am kind of nervous to have one in Chicago. When I had one in LA, it was super easy to take care of, but this one is a pretty good length. Oh my God, these get so tangled and they're so hard to unravel. It takes a long time. I'm just gonna give it a little shake. Ah, how cute! So here she is. This is a string of hearts and it is just one of my favorite plants to take care of and also to style with. This is gonna look especially great on a shelf and you guys know I have a lot of those little open windows in the kitchen. You guys know I love to decorate with the color green so decorating with plants is just the best way to do that. I'm just so happy to have one back in my life because you guys know I killed one and then I also bought a little baby one which I also sold, but yeah, this is just one of the best plants and I love it so much. And I did also grab a Pilea Pepriomum, how do I say it? I can never say that, but I got one. This is the second one that I've ever had and these are really easy to take care of as well. I just love how bouncy they are and they also pop up a lot of babies. So this will probably fill up pretty nicely. This is also a really great plant to start other plants. So it's also called, I think the friendship plant just because you can grow those babies and give it to your friends. So it's such a beautiful plant. I love it so much. And I just put it in the West Elm pot that I got a couple weeks ago and it's just the perfect match. And yeah, so cute. Before we jump into the next door, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of my mood board for the kitchen. So as I was shopping around, I was referencing back to this image and I wanted to find pieces that I could imagine in this room. So that's kind of what dictated what I bought for this space. So I just really love going into World Market because it suits so many different styles. And I feel like everything there is very well priced. So if you don't have one by you, you can definitely check out online. And of course, I'll have everything linked down below as well. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I definitely need one. I've not seen any stores carry these and they are eight bucks and these are huge. If you're looking for wall art, World Market has so many cool options. I love this macrame and gold one. They also have these basket bowls, which are really great for styling on a table, but also you could hang it up against a wall. Oh, these are gorgeous. When I lived in LA, I always got questions on where I got my little test tube propagation station and I got it here at World Market. It's only 17 bucks, so it's a great value. And I just love the brass and the gold. It's just so beautiful. So even though I'm looking for kitchen items, I love going into the bathroom aisle and just finding things that I could use for the sink, for example, like these beautiful hand soap dispensers and little trinkets and things that you could put on display. Oh my God, this is so cute. Like if you were to put a little brush on top of that, that would look so adorable. Oh my God, they have a bubble tea kit. Oh. 
I'm very tempted. I also really love strawberry matcha boba tea and I really miss going to boba guys. So maybe I can make my at home strawberry boba. So I'm in the glassware aisle and if you guys like those thrifted cups that I found the other week, this is a really good dupe. It almost is the same color, similar shape. I really, really love this. $6 for the small one and then the larger one is also $6. Wait, is that right? Wow, okay, yeah, super good choice. I really love these and will add such a fun pop of color to your kitchen. As you guys saw, one of the first things that I saw in the store was this dried palm leaf. And for some reason, it's just a lot harder to find in person when I'm shopping around for dried florals. So I was really glad to see that they carried this one. It was eight bucks and this is pretty large. You could put this in a really big vase or you could also style it leaning on a shelf, which is what I did in my previous apartment. So I just had to have it. Also, I really want to quickly say that even though I love real plants, World Market has a good selection of faux plants. So if you're looking for any, definitely check out World Market. I didn't buy any myself, but I did end up buying this pot and I just love this pattern so much. I feel like something that I'm missing right now in the kitchen is patterns. So this is just a really beautiful piece to add in. It's a super dark green color and it's just so beautiful. It was 10 bucks, so I think that's a great price for this size of a pot and I am just obsessed. I think I need a larger version of this for another space, but still need to find one more plant for this one. I also got this candle holder, which really reminds me of the paper mache arch that we just made, but this is just so cute and I thought it'd be fun just to put some air dry plants in here. So, or not air dry plants, air plants. <laughs> These little openings up here would be so perfect just to put them in there. And obviously it would look really good with candles as well, but I feel like I have enough candle displays. So this for sure is gonna be a plant holder and I love that I just have like a matching set of these now. Speaking of candle holders, I also got a new set of candles. These are labeled as a taper candle, but they don't taper. They're just a regular ribbed candle. I've been looking everywhere for candles like these. So if you're in the same boat as me, definitely check out World Market. Also, I did want to mention that a few of you guys also were looking in the comments to see how you can clean your candles, especially when they get dusty. And a lot of you guys said to clean them off with pantyhose or use a baby wipe. I think that is super genius. So I'm definitely going to try that out the next time I have some dusty candles. I couldn't help myself but also get this little tea box and it was just like the most beautiful mint color i feel like everyone used to be obsessed with like tiffany blue or turquoise blue like this so i haven't really decorated any spaces with this color but i just thought this was so beautiful and would look really great on my shelf i really did mainly buy this for decor but i'm sure the tea inside would be just as delicious but i will keep you guys updated also, I did not end up buying the bubble tea kit, but I did find these cans of bubble tea. So I wanted to try it on camera and tell you guys if this is actually good or not. I don't really have high expectations, but we shall try. Cheers. Hmm. It's not bad. If there was boba in this, it would taste a lot better, I think. But I would rate this an eight out of 10, probably. I'm gonna give it to Brian and see what he thinks as well. I could not leave without buying something amber glass, so I did find this candle here, and it is sandalwood and tobacco, which is not usually a scent that I would go for, but this one just smells so good. Oh my God, yes. I can just imagine burning this at nighttime. I feel like every kitchen needs a good candle, so this is my kitchen candle, and I would totally recommend it to you guys. And lastly, I got a tiny little cutting board slash cheese board. I don't think you're actually supposed to cut on this. It's labeled as a cheese board, but honestly, this is for decoration anyways. Personally, I really love the trend of just displaying cutting boards against a wall, and that's exactly what I'm planning to do with this one. And this one is made with olive wood, so you can see the different patterning right here, and I just think it looks so beautiful. And this will also add in some really nice wood tones since my kitchen right now is just so bland. I just need a little bit more nature in it and a cutting board is the perfect way to do that. 
So in prepping for the makeover, I did make a stop at Home Depot today. I really, really just wanted to see some samples of some paint. And right now I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of the paint that I'm using for the cabinets. So I grabbed four samples, and if you guys couldn't already guess, we are going to paint the cabinets green. So I have the color Ecological, Conifer Green, which is a little bit of a darker green, Muted Sage, which obviously is a sage color because I, oh, I love the color sage, so this might be a really good option. And then lastly, I have Pinecone Hill. So I really am trying to figure out if I wanna do more of a deeper green versus a more sagey, lighter green. So these are the four colors that I'm choosing from. And just looking at these, I feel like it's gonna be a hard decision. But once I actually get them up on the cabinets, I'm sure that I'm going to be able to make a decision. And as someone who's painting my own space for the first time, it honestly makes such a difference when you're looking online versus in person. So I would 100% recommend that you guys actually buy samples and try them out in your spaces. And even if I don't end up using the other paint samples, they definitely do not go to waste because I for sure will be using them for future DIYs. And one last thing that I bought from Home Depot was another philodendron. These are just some of my favorite plants ever. They're really easy to take care of and also really great for low light situations. So I will say that Home Depot doesn't always have the healthiest plants. So I really take my time and look at the leaves and also the roots to see if they're healthy. But I know that it's going to start trailing pretty soon and it's just gonna be long and magical and so beautiful. Okay, the sun is setting, so I apologize for all the lighting changes in this video. But lastly, I did want to show you guys some things that I bought online. I'm super excited for them. These pieces are from H&M Home, and if you guys haven't shopped on H&M Home, they honestly have such a great selection of home decor. They don't have a lot of H&M Home stores in person, so going online is honestly your best bet. And when I saw this piece, I just thought that I had to have it. So it's this beautiful sculpture. It was only 30 bucks, so I will have this link below if you guys are interested but I think this is such a great price for such a large sculpture piece. I am seriously obsessed with this and I think it's gonna look great in my kitchen. The only thing is I kind of do wish it was a vase like if there was a little hole in here and I could put some florals that would be even better but maybe I do have too many vases so honestly having a sculpture like this is just fine with me. I realized I just said that I have too many vases and I did buy a bud vase from H&M Home. And this is so cute. It just reminds me of those little water jugs. So that's honestly why I bought it, but it is just this tiny little bud vase. The tone of this one is slightly different than the sculptural, but also very neutral. So just a simple piece. And I think it's just so cute. I did also grab an apron from H&M Home. And I don't know if I'm actually going to use this to cook in or to use it for crafting, but it is in this beautiful, rusty color and you guys know that's like my favorite color ever but it is just so cute also has pockets at the bottom as well so if you've been looking for a cute apron at a great price i would totally recommend this one and i think this will look so good just hanging up in the kitchen making you look like a casual baker or cook which you guys know i'm trying to be better about i know aprons are supposed to be functional and not necessarily decor but this one serves as both Okay, and very, very lastly, I wanted to show you guys one more thing that I got from Crate and Barrel. I got this online, and this is just the cutest little taper candle holder. I think after this, I'm going to calm down with buying ceramics in this color tone, but this one was just so beautiful, I couldn't not grab it. I believe this is concrete because you can kind of see some of the little stones inside there, so there's a little bit more texture to this piece as well. And overall, mixing all these styles is going to help me achieve the look that I'm going for, so I'm very, very excited to just style all these pieces and put them all together. And just looking at all these pieces behind me kind of helps me visualize the color story that's going on in here. And I truly cannot wait to put it all together in my next video. So I hope you guys are just excited as I am. So now you guys have seen all the decor pieces that I'm adding into the kitchen. I also have my hardware, a rug, and other bits and pieces that are missing from this makeover. So it's definitely game time and I'm going to paint all the little samples tonight. So in the next video, you guys will see what I choose. Before we end this video, I did want to give you guys all the details about the giveaway. So I wanted to celebrate the 150k subscriber milestone. It seriously means so much to me that you guys are watching and that you guys are really enjoying these videos that I put out every week. So thank you so much for being here. And to celebrate, I want to give away $200 gift cards to you guys. If you would like to enter, make sure that you are subscribed and also comment down below one thing that you want to get done by the end of the year. So whether that is a home project or a DIY project, 
project, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know what you guys are up to. I'm gonna keep this open until Saturday night, so make sure that you guys comment before then. And I'll share the winner in Sunday's video, so make sure you guys check the description box for all the details on that. And again, thank you so much for supporting this channel and allowing me to do what I love most and sharing it with you guys. This has seriously been such a dream of mine and it could not have been possible without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you would like to follow along even more and support me over on Instagram, go ahead and give me a follow. I post on there every single day. And that is it for me today, guys. Stay inspired. I will see you in Sunday's video. Bye.